Hello everyone, my name is Aramica Brown, also known as Encyclopedia on the online and internet community. Today I'm going to tell you what you need to know about your machine. Now of course all your machines come with manuals or you can locate them online you know, by Googling the name of the machine or going to the company's website. Now for some reason you're unable to locate your manual, it was gifted to you or something like that. Let's just talk about some of the things that are really important that you need to know to start your machine. Now of course if you have a newer machine there's going to be an on off button so you want to make sure you power it on. If you have an older machine you're going to have your presser foot that's going to be the primary method of operating the needle you know causing it to go up and down. If you have a newer machine you'll have an option of a presser foot or a stop start button. But some of the things that are also important if you have an older machine of course all machines have a turn wheel as you notice on either of the machines. So that's something and that determines whether or not your needle is in an up or down position and that's very important when you're threading your machine or um, you know, disengaging it from your fabric. Some of the other things you have, you're also going to have your spools and thread holders, no matter which one, it's going to be some for, for version of it. You're also going to have your bobbin places to wind your machine, so even, no matter where it is, there's going to be some instructions on how to wind your machine. And if you have a newer machine, there basically is going to be instructions to you know, thread your bobbin, how to engage the thread if you're actually sewing. So that's something that you may want to look at and hopefully you have a machine that has one on top. If not, if you have an older machine that doesn't have it, it's typically going to be the same way. Your thread will go from the top, there's going to be some connecting hook and it then has to feed down into the tension disc before it makes its way down to where your needle is. Now all machines have a throat plate area and depending on the size of your machine or the type of machine it is, it may be wider to help accommodate quilter blankets or it may be more narrow um, to accommodate just regular sewing and then hopefully you have what's called a free arm which means you can take off the casing and then you're allowed to put, place a, a pants cuff or a sleeve on there to help you sew in a more cylindrical motion. Now of course you also have, some of them may have a storage compartment that is very helpful where you can keep your things or you would just of course keep them in a little plastic casing and you would also have your bobbin so on here we have a top load bobbin on this one you have a top load bobbin as well and then on this machine you have a front load bobbin and this is where you would um, insert your bobbin once it was um, wound up and then all machines of course have the um, presser foot you know, and these are your feet attachments that you have depending on what type of sewing you're going to do today. And then you have your foot control lever that lifts it up and down. And that's going to be the same regardless of what machine. And then of course, when you change your presser feet, right above that as well, you have your needle also. And that's where you would change your needle. And when depending on the type of machine you have, if it's an older machine, hopefully you will have a stitch selector and you'll have that and that will help you if it's a newer machine you will have an electronic you know stitch selection portion depending on the type of machine you have and then of course you have your front tension dial on your machines or a lay in tension dial and those are some of the things that you need to know about your machine thank you very much for joining me today my name is Aramica Brown and if you have any questions you can reach me at e at cocktailsandthread.com